Don't overthink it. X is a movie, apparently. And, no, not apparently, it is. Well, that, I guess there is an argument there. Does it, is it a movie? I mean, like, it's does it count movie. as a movie? Would, or is it like, would Scorsese be like, eh, it's that it doesn't reach anything. I don't know. Um, I'm off topic. That's fine. So is this movie all the time. So, the whole movie. And that's part of its charm. It's, you know, it's great and bad and its own thing. And so, yeah, it's a movie with Kid Cudi. He's in it. He's, He's in it. Born. Um, he plays the guitar and then some random chick from Pitch Perfect sings Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. That makes you want to not exist. Anyway, um, so that happens in the movie. It's about filmmakers trying to make an adult film on a farm in Texas with weird old people who end up trying to kill them. And that is pretty much what you get, is what you, you expect it to be kind of bad, but good, and that's exactly what it is. It makes your brain kind of hurt at times. It's very weird and disturbing, but in the best possible way, and yet you feel dirty and you want to be clean all the time and yeah you, you know it, it, I, I I think it's I find it I wonder if there's a conspiracy there on why the theater I went to lifted its COVID I don't know if I can actually say that on YouTube now I don't know who cares I'm gonna say it maybe it was it lifted all of its restrictions on like cleanliness around the time this movie came out because it just is a dirty experience so and you know it's in that way it's it's an homage to 70s sleazy slasher horror films and part of I have to bring Kid Cudi back just because a thought popped in my head and it's all about the fact that a lot of what I guess made it into this movie, especially the adult film aspect, is what he, his personal research from when he was a teenager. I'll actually link an article in the description so you can read more just about all of whatever that is and Kid Cudi's experience of it. Um, so, yeah. So, I am going to rate it out of 10 now. And I, I, I honestly, the more I think about it, the more 6 just works. Because it's kind of like an off version of sex, which this movie has. And it's also like a sort of good ranking, but not. Um, so it, it just, it really is this movie. This movie is six. And it's, you know what? Six is kind of like sick like, and disgusting. And this is also kind of what this is. So six out of 10 is 100% what this movie deserves, in my opinion. And so, yeah any of that resonates see it i guess maybe i don't do, do whatever hi there uh, i'm not jackson as you can see who are you uh i'm liam i'm a friend um yeah i uh, i just went to go see x um whew. it was not it's charmingly bad It, it reminds me of a sleazy slasher from the 70s, and that felt good inside. But the movie itself was not good. 
I feel like if it was released in the 70s, it would be like top 10 horror movies of all time. But as it released now, it kind of hurt. As someone who enjoys 70s horror, this this was kind of like a guts, like a like a punch in the gut. Um, Kid Cudi's in it, I guess. Um, it was a lot of adult filmmaking. This poor old guy dies after saying he can't do it anymore and does it. It's fine. And then moves the body two feet and just croaks. Just just folds. Just slumps. So like, poor Walter or whatever his name was. Shout out to my homie Walter. Um, they've ruined Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. Kid Cudi plays the guitar. Some chick from Pitch Perfect sings it. Yay. Good job. I'm, I'm at a loss for words. It's, it's a movie that should be worse than what it was. Like, it, it, that's a version of like, that's a movie you'd get like direct to video. It's a direct to video movie, but yet it deserves to be in a theater. It's, it's, I hate it. I, I hate it. It was a terrible movie, but go see it, please. Needless to say, this movie leaves you speechless. It knocks the words out your brain mouth socks off. So, yeah, and I think that makes sense. All right.